you're running out of space for games on your Xbox Series S. Well, the Xbox Series S is a fantastic console, but one area it definitely is lacking in is the amount of storage space you get with the console. It comes with 512 gigabytes of super fast NVMe SSD storage. And if you wonder what that means, it just means it is really, really fast, but only 364 gigabytes is actually available to be used for storing games and apps. And if you're wondering how many games you can fit on the Series S, check out my video on this by clicking in the card in the top right hand corner of the screen. So when you run out of space on your Series S, what is your options to get some more storage? Let me show you the best storage options for the Series S and the pros and cons of each. I will also leave affiliate links down below in the description to each storage option so you can easily find them if you wish to get a great deal and pick up one for yourself and support the channel at the same time. First up is the Seagate storage expansion card for the Xbox Series S and X which is a 1TB super fast NVMe SSD just like the SSD inside your Series S right now. The benefit of this is you can store and play everything on it. By this I mean you can store and play Series X and S enhanced games in all their glory from this drive, as well as any Xbox One, 360 or original Xbox games you download from the Microsoft Store or Game Pass. The negative of this storage card is it is very, very expensive. It will cost you £220 in the UK and $220 in the US, basically the same price as the Series S console. So if you buy this for your Series S, you might have been as well buying the Xbox Series X as it would pretty much cost the same as the Series S and one of these expansion cards. That being said, if you can pick one up on sale, or second hand is the best storage you can buy right now for the Xbox Series S. Next up is the Happy Medium and what I personally use on my Xbox Series S right now which is an external SSD drive. I currently have the Western Digital 256GB My Passport SSD plugged into the back of my Series S. I say this is a happy medium because whilst you cannot play Series X and S enhanced games from this drive, you can store them on it and then copy them back and forth between the external SSD and the internal storage in a few seconds like you can see on screen right now. This saves you having to delete the game and re-download the game if you're tight on storage space or have super slow internet. Another reason why I say this is a happy medium is whilst you can't play the enhanced for Series X or S games on this drive, you can play Xbox One games and any backwards compatible games you do will load faster than on a standard Xbox One console drive. If you want to see how much of a difference this causes in game, also check out my video in the top right hand corner of the screen where I show you the in-game difference using this SSD to run PUBG from versus the standard internal Xbox One S hard drive. I currently use this SSD to store and play Warzone from, so if you've seen any of my Warzone streams, it is running from my external SSD, which is pretty sweet. Also, being a happy medium is the price, which is far lower than the Seagate storage expansion card, ranging from £50 or dollars up to £100 or dollars, depending on the size of the drive. The two I recommend are the 256GB My Passport, which I own and use right now, which costs around £70, or the newer version, which is cheaper and has double the storage space at 512GB for around £60. Just remember, whichever external SSD you select should be fine as long as the device is USB 3.0 or faster and at least 120 gigabytes in size or larger so it can be formatted to be a storage drive for your Xbox console. The main negative with these drives is you can't play enhanced Xbox Series X or S games from the drive as you're only able to store enhanced games on external drives which are not the official Seagate storage expansion card. The next option is one that may appeal to a lot of you out there, especially if you love to download loads of games from Game Pass such as original Xbox and 360 games, as these mechanical hard drives have much larger storage space for a low, low price. 
The only main drawbacks is they are very slow. Think of them running similar to your old Xbox One hard drive. And again, you can't play enhanced for Series X or S games on these drives. You can only store the games there, to which you can then transfer them to the internal drive at a later date to play. There is lots of options in these hard drives, but I recommend the Seagate game drive for Xbox, as it looks super slick and white, which will match the Series S perfectly. Also has two terabytes of storage and includes one month of Xbox Game Pass, all for around £60. If you want something that stands out a bit more, there is the Xbox Green version and some cool limited edition versions too, like this badass Halo edition with a whopping five terabytes of storage and Sea of Thieves and even cyberpunk hard drives to choose from. Links to all of these are in the description and the pinned comment. I currently have and use the Western Digital 4TB My Passport portable hard drive which will set you back around £85 and with 4TB of storage you can store plenty of games on there to keep you busy. If you have any questions about these storage options, remember to drop me a comment down below and subscribe for more awesome content.